JG's Fight Talk, uh, sponsored by Riches Boxing and Limitless Creations. And with me now, Sam O'Mason. How you doing, Sam? Yeah, I'm Sam, thank you. Very well. What about you? Yeah, all good, thanks, mate. Busy as good. always. Good, good. How, how's, how's things then? How's things generally? Family all right? Yeah, good, all good. Um, all good. Back in, well, being the last uh, September... Uh, defended against the uh, K Prosper um, on my second defence at English. Uh, and then um, I had the first one. Uh, so the first one went down uh, in his own back in his own backyard in London in uh, York Hall. Fought him in there, uh, and, he, and we had an interview before the fight. And he said to me that uh, every time my chin, my chin's being tested by a puncher. So he obviously consider yourself as a puncher. He's like he, he being tested and you failed and getting it up big and then he got under my skin to be honest with you. So um I went away training, did the camp, finished the camp, made the weight. And then I said to Ryan just as warming up in, in changing rooms in pads, so before I went out to fight. I said, I'm putting it on him and I'm, and I'm on his chest. I'm not I'm not like it, it I don't know what he would he would tell me, No, you box, you box clever, you do this, you do that. And I went listening to none of it. So um to be honest, I expected K like pulling a bluff, wanting wanting that, and then he can box and do what he wants with me. Uh, but when in and he did, he come out into the centre at ring as well to have it out with me. I went into the centre, he chucked a jab, uh, and I chucked a right over and caught him. His legs went straight away, and I jumped on him from round from that moment, which were like ten seconds in, from round one all the way to round ten. Um, and he was just make. And then I think you know it was too much, and he's making excuses up like. He's got an air in his mouth and, he, and he's putting his hands up to stop fighting and doing this to ref. And ref's like letting him do it, trying to get this air out of his mouth, um, saying I'm, I'm, in, I'm, I'm hitting him low, even though they were, they, were, they were fine. Do you know what I mean? And they were just coming up with all sorts of um, excuses to buy time because he knew we were on verge of getting stopped. But credit to him, he lasted all through 10 rounds. He went down in that, but he, he never he didn't stay down. So credit where it's due. Because obviously any any shots so you've got the little eight ounce gloves on, and um, they scored it at end and give it a draw. But before they did results, I come back to corner. I says to Ryan and Mark and Steve, and that says, "What do you think?" Like shows all day. You've got it, got it in pocket. Um, so then obviously they scored it a draw. So then we wonder what we're gonna come next if we're gonna get because after that it was shot at Philip Bowles for the British and Commonwealth title. But they didn't. Discuss, uh, the boxing board said, "Let's do it again, another rematch." Um, X, Y, and Z. So with it being Steve Goodwin promotion and Ryan was just starting off at that time with his management and whatnot, they obviously had more pull money wise and whatnot. So we we put a bit into up the purse bids. They won purse bids, which we know they would do. We were back down in London again in your call. Uh, at the the rematch, and then if I'm if I'm being completely honest. Uh, it could have gone. You could have given it either one of us, and you couldn't have argued. But the only kicking tea for me is, is I went down the first time. I beat him, but because he's got the arm advantage and everything in his favour, yet I went down being the champion and still went into his backyard to defend my title. None of that were kind of took into consideration. It was just all about him getting looked after because we're under his promotion. We're in his backyard, uh, so he got beat. Even his own sister come up to me and said, I'm, I'm sorry what's happened there. We, we clearly won that, but it's just the way boxing is. That, his own sister. So, yeah, you just, you just think, it, but stuff like that, it just makes boxing a laughing stock. So, went down for it again the second time. Could have given it even one of us and they give it in by a point or two. And then it's just kicking teeth because you come away from it and look at it from a different sort of angle and perspective and you just think, the second one, knowing... I did everything to beat him in the in the first, apart from this completely lay him out so judges ain't got to judge. Uh, the second one, we should have said, right, we want it on mutual grounds, took less pay and had it more fair. But because you get that sort of 
fighting fighting mentality and you don't really wait up properly and you think, well, first first fight we had him all over, he can't act up our second fight we'll, we'll, we'll end up knocking him out. Because the second fight it, 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 it were scared. I could see I could see that anyway. Yeah. Um yeah. but it just just happens, doesn't it? But it's just to kick the the from the second fight, I should have thought Philip if they were giving me the victory the first time anyway, I'd have thought and then Philip Bowles for the British and Commonwealth. I believe I'd have beat Philip Bowles. Then I'd have been English, British, and Commonwealth, but that close, like snakes and ladders. Then, because the wrong judging, the wrong scoring, and just how unfair and mistreat boxing can be, it's like straight back down ladder, starting all over again. Yeah, yeah. So, how, how would, did you speak to him directly after that first fight? Yeah, no, no. We we had the the first one, um, and then they scored it a draw, and he would, he were crying, they were devastated, bless him. And then I was just happy. I'd, I were happy I got my title and I thought from that I go straight on to British and Commonwealth not knowing that I'd have put another rematch in. Um, was so there then, a clause? Say that? that again? Was there a clause? No, no, there was no clause. It's just the boxing board just said because it's a draw uh, just do it, it, rematch, do it again. It's what they said. Um, so even though even though you'd knocked him down several times and, and you know, it, it, Surely that's like rounds in the bank, easy for you. I mean, yeah, it's, it's telling you round, isn't it? How, I, I, I don't get that. I, I don't understand it. He, he didn't knock you down. You know, you, you mm. outboxed him the whole thing. Well, you battered him for the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. And yet yeah. you get a draw out of it. You know, as you say, the only thing it can come down to is the backyard side of things, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like what what if what you're supposed to do? You've you've either got to lay them out flat so they can't get back up, and then you've you've obviously and beat the they don't get up in the ten count and you win, and don't leave it to judges. But yeah, if if it's a fight that lasts however many rounds it is, and it comes down to the judges scoring, then it's what do you do? Do you know it's up to them? And then if you're gonna just one of them things. So how how do you think they should deal with that then, Sam? Do you think? Like we were obviously talking before we came on, like in regards to the judges. Do you think yeah. you could go before a panel and say, "Look, you know, this was your card. Uh, uh, you know, tell us how you got these, how you got this scoring, because you know you got two other yeah. judges that yeah. scored it that's the, Yeah, that's the thing with, with boxing. It's like I, I, I train my ass off, and I work, I work mon Monday to. Friday through to Sunday, I'll be training twice a day, Monday to Friday, once on a Saturday. I train once on a Sunday, but it's just like a steady recovery one. Then you're trying to work, you're trying to juggle your family, X, Y, and Z. It's a lot on you. And then you, you sacrifice so much to then get so far. And I've been at it since I was 14. I'm, I'm 30 in April. So a long time. And then you get so close. They've not seen the amount of art ache you've had through all them years grafting your arse off to then just score it wrong and favour other kid because you down in his hometown or whatever they have going through the red or whatever. And then it's like, I got to a point in, after that fight and I thought, well, what do I do? I've, I've got to a point where I should have been fighting for the Commonwealth and British names. I've got it all stripped away from me. Do I my gloves up and just do some, like, just carry on working and just do what you do or what do you do? You've got to make, make a decision. And then, to be honest with you, I, I, I tried doing that and I tried having some time out. And then everyone's telling me, like, no, you're too good. You, you've got plenty more in time. You can X, Y, and Z. Um, lately, I've been sparring with Lee Apple Yogg, who's fighting Dalton Smith in next few months. So I, don't think, I don't think they've got a date yet. I'm yeah, it's not sure. too far away, is it? I don't think. No, no, I've been sparring loads with Lee um, at, at, down at Steffi's gym. And Steffi's like, the amount of talent you've got, and, and his words were, how gifted you are. It's, it's sad how boxing is that nobody's got you under like a, a good high promoters get you under their wing to bring you on and it's like all these little home shows and trying to pick pinch and get where you can get to, to get a decent shot again and none, I don't think none of the judges take any of that into consideration they just sit there God knows what they watch and just pick numbers I think out of thin air and score a fight it's, it's crackers I think, I think the problem is at the moment as well with 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 the lockdown situation it's almost like I don't know if you feel the same, but when you're watching it, like say, I don't know, it could be Matchroom, BT, whoever, couldn't it? Um, yeah. But it seems to be the same five or six people being rotated 
the whole yeah, time. Yeah. There's there's yeah. no one else getting a look in at the moment, and you think you know there's other yeah. people that have got mouths to feed. There's other people that have yeah. got stuff to get you know to to get done in life. They've got bills to pay, and yet there seems to be the same yeah. six guys that are getting yeah. older and older. Yeah. You know the judging. It's, it's yeah. I. I, I it, it is. It. I think they should be. Yeah, they should have testing. Like, and it sounds daft, but like fitness tests. They should. They should be to a certain caliber to know to have the understanding of the fitness and the amount of stuff we've got to go through to sit there and, and be more healthy and alert and on it. Which you see, I'm not being disrespectful to them, but you see some of them they're like off to sleep inside the ring trying to judge. Uh, think uh, what's it? Fights. And then you just see it and just think. Crackers. Well, there was one not long ago, was not there? Who got caught on his phone? Yeah, mate, Terry O'Connor. And you, and you think, Everywhere. yeah, and you think, That's, yeah. Oh, why has he even got his phone? It's like, it's like yeah. sitting an exam, isn't it? Surely, like, yeah, you're yeah. meant to be like staring at what's in front of you. you funny, like, what? Like, yeah, yeah. Mate, like, it's it's, uh, it's, it's a strange, it's a strange old game, isn't it? It's it's the best, it's the best. Yeah sport in the world but there's so yeah. much in yeah. there that's just yeah 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 so it is it. to watch <laughs> I, I think judges of that just need to be more aware and alert that it it's not just I think they must see if especially if some room's not boxed before and just think oh it's just it's just something kid does on side or you know whatever or, or unless like the they're, they're really good and they're getting played plenty, plenty to that they can live off. Yeah. But when you've got lads like myself and, and like the Apple Yard and all other lads and, and the the working, the training, the juggling, the family, the, the sacrificing loads for that one particular fight, and then you've got, like you said, you just sat there looking at the phones and just can't be arsed. They're just there to get paid. It's like something, need, something does need to change. It's like that second fight with Kay, I did all I could through social media, Twitter, like ring it boxing board doing everything not to try and get it put right and none of them want to know it's like it is what it is that's the result and there you are yeah yeah so, so what's next for you then Sam what, what's what are you when are you hoping to get back out there again uh, possibly um, I can't say too much 20th of May on Channel 5 uh, okay. but uh, but it's all ifs and buts at the minute is that the egg so, card I'm not sure. I only got told um, Friday. All oh, right. <laughs> no, not Friday. There we are. Friday. I've got no, no. Uh, Wednesday. Sorry, Wednesday got changed. I've got Wednesday. Sam Egginson's on there. Is it? I don't. I don't know. To be fair, they just said um, yeah, it was Wednesday um, on Channel Five X. But I can't. Even, I couldn't even tell you the kid's name if I wanted to because I forgot. <laughs> uh, I was just like, yeah, get me on. <laughs> you know what I mean, just get me in a ring. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just um, back on like watching my food a little bit. Uh, so it's not too high. And then it's just a case that I've been ticking over and keeping on it, you know, keeping boiling over just in case I get a phone call. Because you know how it's going to work. They're going to they're gonna ring up and give you two or three weeks' notice. To, to vent- their, their lad will have been in a set 10 week and they've done, I don't know, six. And they'll ring you up after they've done the six week camp and say, oh, do you want it X, Y, and Z? Uh, you've got four weeks. And then it's a case of getting ready in four weeks. But if you're boiling over beforehand and like helping like the apple yard and lads like that out, then you're ready to go. And then before the apple yard, I were helping um, Robbie Davis Jr. I was sparring him was down at Ingle Gym. Uh, but that's he will fight the he fought that Mexican, but before that he were fighting, they were gonna fight the guy who Kay Pross was fighting. Uh, but for whatever reason that didn't happen, then he moved on and fought that Mexican. Yeah, tough fight yeah. that was. Yeah, good, good. I was jumping off. So he's like, he's a nice lad, Robbie. And I was, I was going down, seeing him regular sparring with him and whatnot. And uh, he's a good lad, and he's he's a, he's one of them men's all about his family and his little girl and that. And uh, yeah. jumping all over, so he's screaming at TV. But it's just boxing, and it? it's just it's an artless game. Yeah, he. I have to say, if if you didn't really know Robbie going into that fight, you damn sure knew him afterwards because he put his heart on his yeah, chest, yeah. didn't he? Oh yeah, and he grafted yeah, yeah. so hard in that fight, and uh, yeah, he did. Sure, good dog. Was gutted for him, really gutted. But he'll yeah, come again. Yeah, I would. Yeah. yeah. Well, I messaged him after, and I says like, "Head up, X, Y, and Z," and he's like, "Oh, mate, um, it is what it is. I'll be back on it soon. Um, I'll be a ring when I'm in Sheffield, and 
go for a coffee and a catch up and um, get back on it and get back into the swing of things. Well, hopefully, Sam, we're going to see you back out soon then. Hopefully on Channel 5. Yeah, hopefully. I'm, I'm going to move up to uh, 147. I um, had a few opportunities knocking on that door. Uh, I think my days are gone with 10 stone. I'm not making that anymore. Uh, and have, have a pop at that. Have a crack at that. Uh, get some... So I think that where I'm at as well, there's some good opportunities in 1472. Um, and I'm at a stage now, I know I'm, I'm not the oldest in boxing, but I'm not the youngest, I'm at 30, so it's like, oh, I, I'm confident in my ability, so oh, that comes, I'm just going to, so long as it's, everything's, obviously, the, the price, the, where it's at, and I'm not going to be a daft like I were, an eagle as I were before with Kate. Um, I'll, I'll tell it all up, make the right decision and, and go for it. So what's, what's um, 147 in stone? Uh, 10 stone 7. Bloody hell! I can't get down to that now, mate. <laughs> yeah, well, I did. I did. Uh, I would, I've been doing ten stone since amateur days, uh, and it, I can't, and it's a struggle, a big struggle. So we've had a, a body analyst guy come out, and he's he's done all my stuff, and he said he, he's you know, even I'm, I, he said I must be really hydrated, dehydrated when I've been making ten stone. So his advisors and shown us a few things, and said you need to move up. Um, so again, it's like move up. I'll, I'll, I'll be stronger, like healthier. Do you know what I mean? It'll, it'll just benefit me loads better. Won't well, be snapping at misses every two minutes with, when you die. <laughs> fucking got no way. Temper's like dead short. Mate, so I'll tell you, you won't win that fight. I'll tell you, mate. Say again? You won't win that fight. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no one wins that one, I'll tell you. <laughs> yes, sir, no, sir. Three bags full, sir. That's what <laughs> yeah. I do. Oh, I, I know that one, mate, for sure. But, um, yeah. no, let's hope that you get out then in in about May time and um, everyone yeah, yeah. can watch you back out there. New weight, new yeah, sound. Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, ticking over, it's not like it's... Um, it's like Steffi as well. He come up to me and he's like, "You, you, are you still fighting at ten? So I said, uh, "No, I'm going to move up X, Y, and Z." And he said, "Mate, you've got to." He's like, "You're not. It's not even like you're fat. You, you've just gone. You've matured. Like gone into your mantra and thought, and you've gone bigger. You need to move up. Don't be killing yourself trying to still make them daft silly weights." And to be fair, it's been a long time coming, and I've always been fighting against it because I've been where I've at, ranked in the uh, like welterweight. It's like. I need to make that way. I'm at this stage of that way and I've got that belt and do you know what I mean? So now it's kind of like it is and I'm more uh, open to it. It's like, yeah, I'm going to move up and I'm going to have a go, have a go there. Well, hats off yeah. to you, Jack. I hope it all works yeah, out for you. you, Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Now, we'll definitely be cheering you on in the house, as I say. Yeah, you, so I mean, hopefully it'll be on um, 20th of May or all being well. Channel 5 would be nice. be nice to get seen as well. Do you know what I said? Um, like little old shows and whatnot, and nothing to sell loads of tickets to to get on and stuff. Be nice to like be on TV and get seen. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's as as we were saying. I think that's the route sort of Sam Eggington's done. You know, he, he was getting to the point where he was either the first fight or he was, you know, and they're sort of. I know they're the YouTube fights as such. They get kind of get pushed on. Yeah, yeah. Here, but. You know, his last one, I think, his last big one was against Ted Cheeseman. Um, yeah. But, you know, I think, you know, he's made that move to Channel 5 and you're getting a massive exposure. You know, even yeah, yeah, the yeah. Art boxing fans might go, oh, the boxing's on, you know. and, and Yeah, it's it's pop it on. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. You know, yeah. To be fair, that's what I do. If, 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 if I don't know, I'll only watch boxing if I'm like this Saturday and I know he's on card. But then say I'm flicking through TV, like you're saying, it's like, oh, box thing, you just pop back, pop back on, even though you don't know who they are, and just have a little gander and watch, because it's on an easy channel like Channel 5, you've not got to mess around trying to find them and whatnot. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Well, let's hope, mate, let's hope. And uh, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep us updated and... Um, yeah, we'll like, do, yeah. Keep, keep the training up and, you know, away you go when it happens, mate. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, no, thanks. Thanks for your time, Sam. And um, yeah, no worries. Enjoy your food. Yeah, I, I am. 
you go. Take care, mate. Sounds. Thanks for coming on. All right, you too. Sound. See you soon. Okay, mate. Thank you. Bye bye. Sam O'Mason, um, he's loving the fact he's moved up a weight. He can eat more food and enjoy himself a bit more and uh, not be so uh, aggy with his wife. And um, yeah, I wish him all the best. I hope he gets I hope he gets that fight on the Channel 5 card in May. Um, he's been working hard. He deserves it. So um, yeah, thanks for coming on, Sam. means a lot. And uh, yeah, you've been watching JG's Fight Talk, sponsored by Rich's Boxing and Limitless Creations. And uh, yeah... If you like what you see, uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, yeah, check out some of my other content. But thank you. Take care. Oh, you